Hello, my beautiful Spiral Sisters. I wanted to go live today and say hi. I actually was just watching um, one of my Facebook friends live video and her name is Hannah. Um, she's in England and she was talking a little bit about her level seven of spiral. She's in her level seven. And, um, you know, I commented a couple of things saying I'm in my level two. And um, she said, she said, make sure you document everything. Make sure you journal about everything because later you forget what it feels like. Obviously, that's why we're doing this um, integration work. But she said, I hope you have a container with your spiral practitioner, which we do over here. It's just so amazing. And, um, and she said, go live in there and record yourself, record your thoughts, record your emotions. Honestly, there's only three of us in here, so I have nothing to be afraid of. And I am, of course, I think I'm kind of over my fears. But anyway, I just wanted to come in and, um, and share. And I wanna to share today my level one feels. Before, um, before I forget, I am in level two, I am feeling um, all of the things this week. Um, and I, 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 I guess I could talk a little bit about that. Um, today, um, I am feeling a lot of cramping in my belly, um, in my womb space. It feels like my womb space. And I have to pause and just close my eyes like we did in um, in the level two session. And actually, um, um, I would love to hear your stories as well, like about your session with your practitioner. How did it feel like to you? What kind of um, sensations, feelings, what, what did you see um, um, for me? me and Lori in, in the second, here I am talking about second when I wanted to talk about first, but that's okay. This could be like combined. Um, I did see the, the dark storm and I, and I um, felt the heaviness and the ugliness and just the darkness, the, that misery of, of those feelings deep inside that were being held in my sacrum or the sacrum was acting like a container and for a long time for me it felt comfortable like it felt comfortable to be in my sadness or it felt comfortable in my bones i'm comfortable with darkness i love everything about darkness in the way that darkness is also good for us so feeling that dark storm didn't feel that it was good for me. That storm felt like it needed to dissolve, it needed to go, and that's what happened. After we, we had our clearing, after we had our conversations, after we felt everything, um, and I'm talking we, me, and Lori, and I feel like in that moment, in that session, we are one energy and we are in this um, container, we're in this healing portal, healing bubble, and we are feeling each other equally. So, and I'm so grateful, Lori, to you to hold that space for me and, and for many others. Um, so after we cleared it, my storm, um, I still saw it because it hasn't like moved away completely yet. When I closed my eyes and dropped in, I saw the storm, like, like when you see the storm going away, far away, like above the mountains or on the horizon, it's raining over there, but it's not affecting you. Now you're seeing blue skies and there's some fluffy clouds and the rainbows and um, a unicorn. It was just so magical and childlike, like a childlike play and curiosity to want to do more, to want to dissolve more shit out of my body that has been just so comfortably nestling here for so long. 
And so that was so magical and so amazing. And I'm going to journal more about it. And I maybe will, I'm going to share more because this for me, I feel like in this container is for me, it's, it's personal, but it's also for some others to hear and see and, and, um, and witness to be witnessed in my healing where I am now and, um, the path where I am heading. And so that was my level two. I'm gonna come back to it later. Um, but that's where I really realized how magical the spiral is and how just everything led me to it. Um, meeting Lori and um, feeling you, feeling you, Lori, like my teacher, my friend, like, like that companion person that understands you and sees you without any judgment so so grateful so my level one um i've journaled so i just want to look at the notes because it's really truly hard to remember it's truly hard to remember everything but when you read it all comes back to you um i want to read the list of what i deserve that was my homework from lori and um the list of what i deserve my soul having a human experience, watching myself and listening to her true desires and dreams. To have the divine connection to magic in all the ways of life. I feel like um, magic is my transmission in however way I come across it in my life. Um, it was just, it was transmitted in so many different ways through me to other people and it's gonna continue in all the different ways that I'm going to grow never forget about who I am divine magic that was the next thing I wrote I deserve to open myself up to all possibilities of my divine work to open up and pour out into all beings Open myself up to trust in the magic of a natural flow of abundance. Money, love, creativity, service of purpose, and joy and comfort and discomfort of life. Be magic itself. I deserve to be magic itself. Trust, not struggle, travel, buy a house, put my kids through college, show up, journal, create offerings, sell my offerings. Those are the things I deserve. And I wanna say it out loud. I deserve to touch millions of women with my work. I deserve to be that light, that sanctuary space, the safe container that women can come to and I can help them heal their bodies, heal their soul, heal their very purpose and their gifts that they're here to gather and offer to the world in whatever way that they can, in so many unique and different ways that we're all so unique and all of our experiences are so unique. I deserve to be done struggling financially. That was like one of my big ones. And then list of my own rules. My rules are no more scarcity, no fear, no shame, no ego, no guilt, no unkindness, no shyness, no obstacles, no settling, no hiding, no procrastination. And as I say no to all those things, I also wrote a yes list. Yes to abundance, yes to courage, yes to grace, yes to humility. Yes to gratitude, yes to kindness, creativity, freedom. Yes to every step of the way as I am being completely guided as all of us un unbelievably, unexplainably. I don't even know how all of this is happening in my life right now, but I am being guided. Yes to deserving and yes to manifesting, manifesting in a way of action to not sit and pray and wait, but sit and pray and get up and go and act and do the things that I'm getting chills and, and do the things that I am meant to do on this planet and in this world. 
so that's about that um yeah i wrote i, I wrote a gratitude list as well um because Lori uh, shared with me that in, in her spiral, there used to be a gratitude list, but there wasn't one anymore. So that's it. And I'll be back to share more. I would like to share my pre-spiral um, questionnaire because it really inspired me and made me realize what I'm willing and what I'm ready to release. So I'll be back. Thank you for listening, for watching. Um, so as you can see, all those instruments behind me, they're amazing. They're not mine. I'm going to, um, I'm going to do the gong for us, for our spiral space here. Um, my friends asked me to store some of their instruments here. And I said, of course, like, why not? I have the space and I get to play. Look, look at all that. There's in that corner, there's a bunch of didgeridoos all kinds of drums, guitar, um, a gong. There's also hand, hand drums, the two hand drums. I'm just so excited to play with it all and I can. So I'm gonna just ring the gong for us. Mm. Thank you, Laurie. Mm.